80,000 doses of the Johnson & Johnson COVID-19 vaccine arrived in South Africa from Belgium on Tuesday, 16 February. This after government slammed the brakes on its original vaccination rollout plan just days after more than 1 million doses of the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine landed in the country. Health experts announced that the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine provided minimal protection against mild and moderate cases of the COVID-19 501V2, South Africa's dominant variant. Scientists say 501YV2 accounts for 90% of the country's new COVID cases. The variant drove South Africa's second wave and was discovered late last year. New studies show that the AstraZeneca vaccine was only 22% effective against mild cases of the variant. According to the World Health Organization standards, a vaccine needs to provide at least 50% protection to be considered effective. Experts describe the results from their study on the AstraZeneca vaccine as disappointing. And we are uncertain about uh, the impact on, of the vi vaccine uh, that it will have on hospitalization, severe uh, diseases and death. <clears throat> Excuse me. This means that what we will take from uh, Professor Shabir Mahdi is that some more work needs to be done on this issue because the results from other countries <clears throat> have been quite satisfactory, but there are issues in South Africa that we need to study a bit more. Health Minister Zwelim Kize says South Africa's unused AstraZeneca stock has been offered to the African Union to distribute to countries who have expressed interest in procuring the stock. Healthcare workers were first in line to receive the Johnson & Johnson jab, which is shown to be 57% effective against mild and moderate infections caused by the variant circulating in South Africa. President Cyril Ramaphosa and Health Minister Zwelim Kize have also since been inoculated. Government has identified 20 vaccination centres across the nine provinces where 80,000 healthcare workers are expected to be vaccinated over the next two weeks. Government announced that the vaccination rollout plan will now proceed in the form of an implementation study because scientists are gathering additional data on efficacy against the variant. This means that the different vaccines will still be administered, but data from those vaccinated will be studied to assess how the different vaccines compare in protecting against severe COVID-19 infections. Outside of the doses secured through the implementation study, government confirmed that it secured 9 million doses from Johnson & Johnson. South Africa also secured an additional 12 million doses from COVAX and 20 million doses from Pfizer. Negotiations are also underway for the Russian Sputnik V and Chinese Sinopharm vaccines. A minimum of 67% of the country's population should be vaccinated to achieve herd immunity. This means more than 40 million citizens will have to be immunized. While South Africa's health experts have been forced to remedy their approach to the pandemic, Nkise emphasized that we are not yet out of the dark, as a third wave is on the cards for South Africa. He urged citizens to continue to take precautions and continue to practice social distancing, hand washing, sanitizing and wearing masks.